Office Draw is the best PDF editor I found. That is why I want to show you everything it can do along with how to get it. So first let's see how we can get it and then how we can use LibreOffice Draw, the best free PDF editor. To get LibreOffice, open up this website and click on download now. Then this should open up the download now page where you can choose the version of LibreOffice that you want to download. Uh, you can download version 7.2.4 or a lower version that has lower features. Now LibreOffice works on all major platforms. You can choose the platform you have and then click on download. Once you finish downloading, minimize all apps and in your search bar, type in LibreOffice Draw. Now you will find LibreOffice Draw. That means that you've successfully installed the app you need for editing PDFs. Now open up your file explorer and find a PDF file that you need. Here I have so many certificates by Google Interland game that Google has created to make you internet awesome. Again, I've included a link to that cool game in the description. You should really try it out. Now, I found this certificate that it doesn't have my name written on it. Uh, so, I it puts my name in the over here, but I don't think Google has put my name on it. Look, it looks like it has. So, I want to show, I want to edit this PDF. It's not put my full name, it's only put half my name. So, I want to enter my surname as well. So, I'll just do that there. So this should open up LibreOffice Draw. Normally it may not. It may just open it in a random PDF editor, say Microsoft Edge. To open it up in LibreOffice Draw, right click and click on Open With, and then click. Uh, you'll find LibreOffice Draw right here. If you don't, just click on Choose Another App. Then now scroll to the complete button and click on more apps again click on look for another app on this PC now you it, go head to your local disk C drive and head to program files then click on LibreOffice then click on program and then you should find uh, LibreOffice draw right over here that should be if you scroll down a little you'll find the file as draw.exe that is the file you need to select. You can also type in sdraw.exe and, and that should select the exe file you need. Then click on open. That should open up your file in LibreOffice Draw. Now I want to it to include my entire name and I want my signature to be right here. So to include your entire name just click on any portion of the text and you'll be able to edit the text see i can erase portion of this text i can write it back and i can also write more text in that area now i want to move this a little to the left so it stays centered on this place okay a little bit to the left now it's a it's a little bit in the center now i have my name right in the center now i need my signature to sit over here so how do i do that now i'll exit full screen let's hit the windows key and the m key and that minimizes all your windows now click on libra office and put it right here now just find your signature i have it on my desktop i'll just drag it and drop it into libra office that should put your image now Try, let's see how we can crop the image in LibreOffice. So here I have my image. Now I can rotate the image. I don't need to rotate it right now. I'll just put it back in its normal layout. So first we need to crop the image so that it doesn't cover this entire area. See it's covering a lot of space here. So first thing you need to do to is to crop the image. 
you you can do that just like this that makes the image smaller it doesn't crop the image yes yes in I need the image to be smaller uh, let's make it a little bit more smaller say this small is enough and now I can drag it right over here where I want my signature now that doesn't have any text that comes with it I want some text to come with my signature I want some text that says signature now you may notice that I can add text I'll just click on insert text box and I'll just draw my text box right here and I'll insert the text saying signature now to customize the font size let's put this back in full screen and click on properties now I want this set to be in let's say area black I'll just type in Arial Black. Arial Black, and that should be enough. I want this to be in Arial Black. Arial Black. I'll hit enter, and that puts it in Arial Black. Black, I'll put it right here, so it's right beside my signature. So that does it, and let me show you how you can draw a signature using Microsoft Paint. So here click on start or just search for Microsoft Paint. Now you'll find Microsoft Paint. Just click on open and open the app. That should open up a Microsoft Paint and this is the default interface for Microsoft Paint. Now to draw your signature just in anywhere in the, in the drawing just draw your signature Here's my signature, I drew it and now click on file, click on save as and click on save it as a PNG or a JPEG picture. If you save it as any other picture, it may not save it properly. So BMP, GIF, they're not moving pictures. So let's just save it as PNG. Then remember to save it on your desktop. So here if you save it on your desktop, you can just drag it into libra office now let's see how we can save our pdf file as a pdf again i have it open in libra office and if i click on file and then if i click on save the or save as it won't work you can't save it as a pdf it'll save it as a dot odg file that is an ODF drawing. If you right click and click on new, you might find open document drawing. That is the LibreOffice draw. That's what it's saving it as. We don't want it to be saved as an ODG drawing. We want it to be saved as a PDF. To save it as a PDF, click on file and click on export as. Now you need to just click on export as PDF. If you just if you click on export directly as PDF, it will not open up this PDF options page where you have a little bit more control on what you can do with your PDF. Here I can choose how many pages of this PDF I want to export. We're not going to look at these, but I, I'm going to show you security. <coughs> security lets you encrypt your file and set password so here i'll think of the safest password i know and i'll just type in computer and here also the password is computer and this is an open password so when you open the file it will ask you for the open password when you if you want to edit the file using a pdf editor like adobe acrobat dc then you'll need to open the type the permission password so then click on ok i don't want a permission password i'll just click i'll just type in computer for the open password i'll reconfirm computer and then I'll click on OK. That's the only way to change the password you've sent. And now click on Export. Now, I want 
this name to be the same so it replaces the main file I have so I'll just click on save that will open up a dialog that says confirm save as Google Interland Pranav certificate of awesomeness or your name dot PDF already exists if you've saved it as the same name that means the PDF already exists and do you want to replace it I really want to replace it so I'll just click on yes if you click on no it'll ask you to rename the file and then if you put the same name again you'll get the same dialogue the process will just keep on running if you click on no now I have another PDF that I need to edit so to open up that PDF I'll just head to the following location so I have a specific location where I need to edit that PDF so you so here I have a PDF that says list of YouTube videos to make I want to edit this so here I have a few mistakes that I have made in this place so let me just zoom in a little bit for you so you'll be able to see the mistakes can you see a few mistakes yes so I can see that McAfee is the wrong spelling it's actually McAfee Live Save the antivirus software so I want to correct the spelling I can easily erase just like my word now I'll type in the correct spelling that's the correct spelling I typed it in and now here rod is actually wrong I it's word but I've written it wrong it's W R O D uh, it's the correct spelling of word is W O R D to correct that I'll just erase it and type in O R and that corrects my spelling here I, I'll do the same thing for this body uh, there's an ex extra number of S's. I'll just erase all of them. Yes, all of them. They're completely unneeded. I click on enter and then I, oh, this is not a word document. So that I have must have done a mistake. Now I want to insert a text box right over here called signature. I just type in signature and I'll open up properties here the font is Calibri here and for this text the font is Calibri with 11.1 .1 pt so here also I want the same font I'll put this as Calibri but you need to scroll up to find Calibri not down this is a little different from Microsoft Word now click on Calibri now I have Calibri but it's a little too big so I'll change it to 11 11.1 there it's been saved as 11.1 signature I want to enter my signature so and I'll add a line to add a line at the left side you will see all these tools just click on line and I'll add a simple line over here I'll just put keep it small so because I don't want a really big line and I want to customize this line so I'll see what I can do here fill color you need to change the color to black I like it as black so I'll I like it as blue I'll let it be blue now you can also change this line color you can choose it as black that should change the line color I like it blue now I want to insert my signature where I put this line let me just extend the line a little bit and move it a little bit down now to add my signature I have this signature file or the one I previously saved now let's minimize all our windows open up our Libra office and you should find your signature file as we did earlier just drag the file into Libra office it should come up a little too big resize it so it comes as a proper signature file now put your signature where you'd like it to be I want the line to be visible and also the signature so I'll just keep it there that's a good that looks good I want my PDF to be saved as a PDF 
not an ODG file. So again, let's put this back in full screen and click on export dir directly as PDF. But one more thing, I also want that certificate page to appear, this page to appear in my other page. Once again, let me just place these side by side and let's see, even I don't know, let's see what we can do. Let's try dragging this over here and that works. It actually added my certificate page, but it didn't come properly. It is come in a format. This is a portrait page, but here it's come in landscape format. It's a portrait format, but it's a normal landscape page. Well, I don't want this page to delete a page. Right click and click on delete page. So that should delete your page. Now again, let's click on export directly as PDF. And to export directly as PDF, just type in your name and click on save. Just click on yes and then you will have your PDF. Let's see how the PDF has turned out in another PDF viewer. Right click, click on open with. I'm gonna go with Microsoft Edge because most Windows viewers have Microsoft Edge installed on their computer. So you'll also be able to view the exact same thing that I'm viewing. <coughs> yes, so I'll also be uh, attaching a file of, of the PDF that I have edited into the description so you'll also be able to see that there i'll just click on no if, if it gives you a font to restore pages either if you want to restore go ahead i'm not gonna stop you but that may not open up your list of pdf to make so here you can actually see that it's set my pdf the way i like it i have my signature here and I have my signature image right here. I can draw on using Microsoft Edge. I can also draw on the PDF. See, I want to give this PDF an A star because it's really well written. I'll change the color and the thickness. I want a black color, so I'll leave it like that. Now click over here to get rid of that window. Now click on now write whatever you want. Oh, I forgot to include an A. Let's put an A there. To erase what you've written, you can also click on eraser and that erases what you've written. If I want to write something else, say my signature for the second time, I'll just put that there and that fits in a little bit well. Let's erase that away. So Microsoft Edge also works well as a PDF editor, but it doesn't have the tools to edit the text that is in the PDF document. You can also add text. Say I can say, hey, uh, written by Pranav Kadambi. Written by Pranav. Okay, let it, I'll leave it like that. To move it down, I can drag it anywhere on the document. I want to change it to black so my text is black but I can't change the font type it has to remain as this font type it's not a very powerful PDF editor but it does a fairly good job so I don't want this to be here I'll just delete it and I won't save the changes you can save the changes, you can save as, you can even print your PDF file. You can do all sorts of things using Microsoft Edge, but they're not as powerful as PDF LibreOffice Draw. So now click on Leave. The best free PDF editor. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this video. And I hope you learned about LibreOffice Draw and I hope you have your PDF editor installed and ready for PDF editing by now. I'm going to make some more videos on LibreOffice Draw so that your knowledge on it can improve. So, I hope to see you next time. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out this video for uh, more information on OBS Studio.
called open broadcaster software i'm gonna paste a video right over here and do so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel right over here bye